He's over here.
being redirected. I'm like, I could go in this room. No, we're doing redirected. Yeah, go in the other. You want to be in the other room for it? So go. But she's happy if you can do it now. She's so it. Okay, great. Rivers and Tom? Yes, one more motion. Money, Rivers and Tom? Don't go smush it. It's a sad, 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 a
be all over, they'll, be, they'll move it everywhere. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You've done this before. Mazel tov. Let's go by you. Please be standing for your chatan, Moshe Chai.
ceremony is officiated by the Av Bet Din, head of the Sephardi Bet Din London, rabbi of the Od Yosef Chai community, Dayan Avram David.
Can we call to the stage, to the chupa, Rav Bernard Benarash, together with Dying David as the AD, to the exclusion of everyone else here? Tell us 
ארבעים יום לפני יצירת המל"ד, קודש ברוך הוא, בת קול, יוצא ואומרת, בת פלוני לפלוני. In fact, the Ramban brings out the Zohar, which says that really the two Neshamot were joined together, because in the Pasuk it once says, Zachar Nekeva Barautam. And then when you see in the explanation of the Pasuk, which goes on later, it describes Adam was created first, and then Chava was taken from Adam, and he got formed her into his ishto, ishtchai. But before that, God created Zachar Rekiva, said the Zohar that was Neshamot. Those two Neshamot stood together, and they were together, created together. And Hashem took the Neshama of Moshe and put him, came to the wonderful family of the Rehons. I remember your grandmother, she was big sadeket. She's here today with us. She's enjoying this. She's happy with it. And of course, we have here the Kala, with his father is here, and the family. And it hasn't been easy. But you know what? Baruch Hashem, we have found each other. And this zivuk was not made when the Shatran came together. It was made in Shamayim before you were born. Arbaim Yom. And that's now we're coming together, together to build a bike in Iman Israel. A Jewish home is called a Mikdash Me'at. It is a small temple, small Beit Mikdash. Today we don't have a Beit Mikdash. Today we have a Zechel Mikdash. We have a Beit Knesset, but the Jewish home is that which will help. Build a bit of Mikdash again with your home, which you hope will be very soon. Amen. Your home should be a home full of the Shekhinah, Amen. the wonderful countenance of our Baruch Hu. People who enter your home should recognize it and see it and appreciate it. Your home should be one full of Beracha, Beracha with Parnasatova, that you should welcome guests and bring people and show them what authentic Judaism is, what the Torah, a house of Torah and Yerat Shemayim. And this is what we want to bless you with. Bezat Hashem, you should build this home with many, many children, Oskim at Torah and Mitzvah. And in that way, you'll be securing the future of Am Yisrael. The future of Am Yisrael depends on the Jewish home. But that Jewish home, you and Eliza, you must take direction, like the Kruvim. You know, we had the Kruvim on the Aron HaKodesh, on the Aron with the Luchot Abrit. The Kruvim faced each other with the wings spread high. That's the mitzvot which raised you up. But the Kruvim faced downwards as well, because they were taking direction from the Luchot Abrit, from the Torah which was in the Aron. Your life will be secure and go in the correct direction for generations if you take direction which I'm sure you will from the Torah. I know you both, and I know for a long time, and I've seen Eliza. She's a book, she's a worker. <laughs> she's going to make it. And Bezat Hashem, you should build that wonderful home. It should be an honor and a, a pleasure and give nachat to both your families and to all clan Israel. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Diane. It is an honor and privilege to call up Rabbi Yossi David to read the Ketubah.
a chance of transmit. Vesimanta bul mazal to mishat va mutslahat kol sason ve kol simcha kol hatam ve kol kala kol mitzalot hatali ve chupatam ba shlishi ve shabbat ve tisha asa yom nachodesh kislev shenat hamesh et alafim ushlanot ve shivayim ve teisha libiyat olam lebinyan shalomanim kan ve london matadiyat walan temzit in karya temzit Anan Sadeh, Eich HaChatan, Chemet Bachurim, Yerte Tohar, Netar Shashuim, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Ben-Rachamim, ממשפחת Hadreimon. אמר לאדם בטולטה, שפיר תנאים תביא עלת חן כלילת יופי, עליזה בת יחיאל יעקב יצחק צבי למשפחת... שרנץ. אבן אילי אינטו כדעת משה וישראל, ואנא בסייעתא דשמיא, אפלח ואוקיל ואזון ואפרנס ואכלכל ואסובל ואכסה יתר יגלחת, גאורים, יהודה, נפרחים ומוקלים, נזנים ומפרנסים, ומכלכלים ומסוברים ומחזינת לשעון וקושתא, ויהיה נא לכי מואר ותולייך כי יעשה זוטי מתן, לאחז ולכי, ועלי מזונייך ופסוטייך וסיפוקייך ולדרה יתר כי כבר הכל רע, וצביה גמרת עליזה ותולתא דה ועבד ליל אינטו ודן ודון הדרת ומי באבוע ואין בכסף ומזהב ומתכשיטים ומנושים ושימושי ערסה סך שמונה אלף לירות סטרלין וצבי חתנה דנן והוסיף לה עיר ודילה סך עשר אלף לירות סטרלין נמצא כתובה דנה כולה עיקר ודון ותוספת סך הכל חי אלף לירות סטרלין שוב בר מכסף זו זה מתן וחזו לרים לאף ועודה חתנת הנה שקיבלה מבזקפה מלא במבנה כי הוא הכניסי את צומר זה שיפחדו פחדו לו ומותי אותי אותי או לא וכך אמר לנה חתנת הנה לאחריות עיקר כתובה דה ומתוני את תוספת כבלת עליי ועל ירתה בטלה והכל שפר עליי נכנסן וקנייני דה איתי את החוד שמאיה מתרקה והגפה מתרקה דה קנאי ודה קנאי כול הון יון אחראין וארבעים עיקר כתובתה ומדוניה ותוספת וכנינן מיד החתן הנזכר לעיר קניין גמור ושלם במעלה וחשב למקרן יבד ועכשיו קראו קטנת חז"ל וגם נשמע שבועה חמורה ותקיעת כף הדת למקום ברוחו ודת כלו כל הנשמעים באמת לאשר ולקיים את כל הנזכר לעיר בלי שום שינוי תמונה בתחולה כלל ועיקר אלא כדת משה וישראל והכל בריא ושריר וקיים
Ladies and gentlemen, while Rafi's run out to get my toilets. I must share with you that Diane David, the Abbey Dean, I've chosen love Diane Avram David to be the Ed for a million reasons, for all the tremendous hard work he's done for the community. I could only imagine at least 50, not 50 decades, but 50 years. God willing, it will be 50 decades. And of course, I have to choose a second witness, an Ed, to sign the marriage contract which was written on parchment with a feather and beautiful ink, which is written by the scribe himself, Rav ben -Aosh. So for that reason, I have, who better else to be the witness, the Ed, of our Kitabah, our marriage contract, than Rav ben -Aosh himself. Thank you very much. We will now recite the Sheva Brachot, the seven blessings. It is an honor and a privilege to call upon Mr. Racham Imrim, father of the Chatan, to recite the first two Brachot. These seven blessings will draw divine blessings into Moshe Chai and to Aliza's married life. And as with all rituals of sanctification, they commence with the first blessing over a cup of wine. The first blessing translates as, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe who creates the fruit of the vine. The second blessing translates as, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe who has created all things for his glory. All was created for God's glory. Amen. All was created for God's glory, including or perhaps especially the Jewish home. The second blessing is an expression of Moshe Chai and Aliza's intent to establish a Jewish home founded on spiritual values, a home whose goal is to be a bastion of light, Torah and mitzvot, a home devoted to God's glories. It is my honor and privilege to call upon Mr. Yechiel Yaakov Shuranz, the father of the Kala, to recite the third bracha, Yotze Hadam. The third blessing translates as, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of man. This blessing thanks God for creating man. Spiritually, the souls of Moshe, Chai, and Eliza were originally one entity in the Garden of Eden, before being separated and sent down to inhabit their respective bodies. 
This blessing, which alludes to the point in time when Moshe Chai and Eliza were still one entity, is intended to evoke the soul connection within the context of this physical union. It is my honor and privilege to call upon Mr. Ephraim Chai Raymond, brother of the Chatzam, to recite the fourth bracha, Asher Yotzar. The fourth blessing translates as, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created man in his image. The, in the image of his likeness he fashioned his form and prepared for him from his own self an everlasting edifice. Blessed are you, Lord, creator of man. This blessing thanks God for the dynamic of marriage he designed by creating two entities. The excitement and mystery created by bringing two people together to create an everlasting edifice. Ephraim Chai. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Yatsa את האדם בצלמו, בצלם דמות תבניתו, תבניתו, והתקין לו ממנו בניין עד היד, ברוך אתה אדוני, יוצא It is my honor and privilege to call upon Mr. Craig Schranz, brother of the Kala, to recite the fifth bracha Sostasis. The fifth blessing translates as may Jerusalem, the barren one, rejoice and be happy at the ingathering of her children to her midst in joy. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladdens Zion with her children. We invoke the memory of Jerusalem following the dictum, I will remember you, I will bring Jerusalem to mind during my greatest joy. Furthermore, after expressing Moshe Chai and Eliza's intention to establish a home dedicated to increasing God's glory and to allow their soul connection to permeate this union, their blessing, this blessings, mentions the benefit of the commitment. Every Jewish home is a dazzling point of light. All these points of light eventually combine to chase away all forces of darkness, ushering in the redemption when Jerusalem will rejoice at the ingathering of her children. Mr. Craig Schrenz. It is my honor and privilege to call upon Mr. Ezra Uvein Chai Raymond, brother of the Chatan, to recite the sixth bracha, Samach to Samach. The sixth blessing translates as grant abundant joy to those loving friends as you bestow gladness upon your created being in the Garden of Eden of old. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladdens the groom and the bride. Every Jewish person is a part of the larger Jewish body, a body which includes every Jewish soul throughout the generations. A Jewish marriage creates a link between all the past generations and all the future generations. Thus, every Jewish marriage is a historic and momentous event. Here, too, this simcha is not only for Moshe Chai and Eliza and their families, but also for the whole community. This is evidenced by the participation of all the invited guests in the dancing and singing, every individual rightfully feeling very much a part of this momentous occasion. Mr. Ezra Ufeichheim. Sameach te samach ve'im ha'ovim Kesameach yitzvah Kesamecha ha yitzvah Began eden mikedem Baruch atza Adonai Mesameach atan vekala it is my honor and privilege to call upon legendary Chazam, David Raven, brother of Chatan, to recite the seventh and final bracha, Asher This blessing uses ten adjectives to describe the atmosphere which, please God, will pervade in the home of our newly wed couple, Moshe Chai and Aliza. Joy, happiness, gladness, jubilation, cheer, delight, love, friendship, harmony, and fellowship. The concluding blessing of the Sheva Brachot wishes Moshe Chai and Aliza a life of perfect happiness, a happiness which permeates every aspect of their beings. The blessing translates as, Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who created joy and happiness, groom and bride, gladness, jubilation, cheer and delight, love, friendship, harmony and fellowship. Lord our God, let there speedily be heard in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem the sound of joy and the sound of happiness, the sound of the groom and the sound of the bride, a sound of exaltation of wounds 
from under their wedding canopy, youths from their joyous banquets. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladdens the groom with the bride. Take them.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're invited to make your way to the reception in the foyer. Please make your way to the reception in the foyer of the ballroom. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please make your way into the reception in the foyer of the ballroom. Please make your way out of the room so we can turn the room around for dinner. Please make your way to the reception outside of the ballroom. Thank you. Thank you. 